Yeah, it's an absolute honor to sign for Alpine. I could not believe it. Um, it was weird when I got the call. I, I'm just a casual sim racer, just stuff's about on sims. And uh, they, they called me up and asked me if I want to replace Alonso since he's leaving. And uh, I was like, yeah, sure. Even though I'm fat and I can't fit in an F1 car. Uh, a bit of an odd decision to go for me over Gasly. But um, I mean, I'm all for it. I'm ready to go. Uh, I can only do the best that I can. I know the fans are a bit concerned picking me. I'm concerned as well for the team. And I guess I'm going to have to gain the trust of all the workers here. Uh, but I'm going to do my best with my uh, sim racing knowledge to finish top half of the table hopefully for the team and who knows next I might be driving for Red Bull if they uh, want to replace Perez well like I say we tend to rely on your teams telling us that something hello folks and welcome to Paddock Pass your pre-race edition for this the inaugural round of the 2022 Formula One World Championship and I've got to say it feels great to be back as is tradition there is something of an air of a first day back at school on arrival here, but it's more than that. Because the new era of Formula One has arrived, and with it, the eagerly anticipated new car regulations which have been designed to help promote better racing. With clean sculpted lines, swooping rear and front wings which should allow cars to follow each other more closely, new eye-catching 18-inch low-profile tyres, the return of ground effect and a reduction of aerodynamic physical adornments, the new cars look strikingly different, all while improving safety and pushing the limit of technical ingenuity. So then, which teams have interpreted the rules most effectively and which drivers will adapt to their new car the quickest, leading the charge against the rest of the pack? Only time will tell. As always, we can't wait for this season to begin, but for now, from us, so this first race of the season is always quite difficult for us trackside and for those back at the factory as well as it's the first time the car has run since winter testing mm -hmm. the more consistent mileage you can get in these sessions the happier we'll be no worries i got you yep how's it going brother okay i see how it is no one likes to talk in this team eh? nobody likes the newbie hmm Time to prove to my team that I deserve this seat. Now come on. Stay calm. Focus. Finish strong. Come on, finish strong. Let's go. We want top ten. Come on, push, 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 push. Woo! This guy sucks. With qualifying finished, it's time to remind ourselves once again of our top three. Sainz, Perez and Charles Leclerc. Goodbye for now then, but really we're just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. I was two seconds off the pace. testing no more practice this is the real deal and it's make or break here at round one of this year's formula one world championship we go racing today around the 3.36 miles of the magnificent bahrain international circuit with 15 corners and two good passing opportunities into turns one and four keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left tire into the tricky braking zone of turn 10 Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, George Russell, and Norris. Hamilton, Ricardo, Ocon, and Pierre Gasly. Joe, Sonoda, Mick Schumacher, and Magnussen. Bottas, Goose, Alex Albon, and Sebastian Vettel, Stroll, and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? So here we are in 2022 at the start of another Formula One World Championship. It all begins here, the start of the next generation of Formula One. 
With the end of the second turbocharged era, a new dawn begins. New regulations have been brought in to promote better racing, with the two big standout changes being the wheel size increase and the aerodynamics on the car itself. But will this result in us having a repeat fight for the driver championship? Will Mercedes retain their constructor's title? We have lots to discuss then with Anthony Davidson, who's joined me in the commentary box for today's event. Yeah, it's good to be back. Let's hope for some good racing today as well. We can't know at this point how competitive the teams are relative to each other, but hopefully nobody's able to run and hide. We want to see these drivers pushing to the limit all the way to the chequered flag. Look, I, I know, I know you're angry. I apologise, but I beat Stroll. Hey, yeah, see, I beat Stroll. That's all that matters. But maybe not. I, I'm going to do my best to get top half of the pack. All right, I'm going to get us points. You don't, you don't trust me, do you? I kind of don't blame you, to be honest. Oh, we had a good start. Good start, good start. Everyone's just hitting everyone. Get off me. Whoa! Dangerous driving, mate! Damn! The hell was that? Stay with him, stay with him. It was a wide turn, it wasn't good. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's how you send it, baby. Nice move. That's going. how you send it. Okay, DRS will be enabled with this lap. You can use it when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Now stay there where you belong, son. All right, come on. Keep pushing, Jazz. Keep pushing, Jazz. You got this, mate. You belong in the F1. Oh, I want to take him here. Bit dangerous. Right, we're in a good spot here. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go. Perez, eh? Well, Perez, that seat will be mine next season. I'm coming for that Red Bull seat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Haas, can you move out of the way, mate? You just slow me down a little bit there. Eh? Now, I could have taken that turn a lot better if you didn't exist. This is your strong sector, Jez. Oh, bit of an accident. See you later, buddy. See ya. Come on, let's go, baby. I'm pulling away from the rest of them. What we want to see. Keep your head down, Jeremy. You got this. There, he's yours. He's yours. He wants the inside lane. Well, he can have it, baby! Good job. Nice overtake. Thanks, mate. P10.
Right, now it's your teammate. Now I need to take my teammate. Do you have something I want? It's P9. Mate, you got... You got my spot. P8's mine. Can I please have it? I oh, no, I'm taking it inside, buddy. Thank you very much. Hey, teammate, you got something I want. <laughs> Give me a spot. Look, you're nowhere near the rest of the pack, mate. You're letting the team down. You want me in this lap? No worries. I hope it's all right, though. I hope it wasn't a bad crash. Well, we've got no safety car, so he must have just... His car must have just packed it in. I nearly collided with my teammate. I'm sorry, team. I apologise for that silly mistake. Oh, come on. I've got him. Get behind me in the pits, boy. <laughs> no, damn it! Whew. All right, come on. Your late turning meant we had a slower than planned pit stop, I'm afraid. Ah, uh, get used to it. All right, come on, strong finish. Give this P10. Come on. Ah, oh, hell no. We're not letting this happen. No chance. Yeah, get back behind me, mate. Who the hell do you think you are challenging me, son? Who do you think you are? Come on, stay with him, stay with him. Get a P8 here, get a P8. That's my clean air, boy. Thank you very much. You deal with the Alpha Tori. Okay, I've had enough of him. 13.2. Mate, as long as we get this, we can keep P8. You're absolutely fantastic for the team. Making my way downtown with your mum tonight. She's gonna get some. No, 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 no. Yeah, mate, we're not catching that guy in front, so. Uh, what's the gap now, mate? What the hell was I doing? What the hell was I doing? Mate, I can't be daydreaming driving. Just can't be doing it. Rookie mistakes, rookie mistakes. Daydreaming while driving. See, now, now I've let him back into it. But I'm better than all of these guys on this sector. Except for that turn. I should not have said that. Okay, gap ahead is 21.4 seconds. 21.4 seconds. Lando's ahead of you now. And gap to the car in front is 21.7 seconds. Okay, they're on old hard tyres. Okay, their tyres are seven laps old. The last lap time was a 137.0. Okay, so they're extending their advantage by two seconds a lap at the moment. Oh, wait. What, what, what do you mean they're pulling away that much per lap? Something's not right here. Come on, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. There's got to be an investigation into this. This has got to be, someone's got to be accountable for this. Maybe I went for the wrong tyre. Well, guess what? It ain't 21 seconds now, because Norris is out, baby. Go back off. Woo. Two laps to go. Or is it four laps? Is it 27 or 29? The rookie doesn't remember. Okay, 
Okay, gap to the car ahead is 32.8 seconds. Okay, no issues with the tyre wear for now. Keep Fantastic. Fantastic. Come on, we need to pull away. Need to pull away. What's the gap behind us? Now gap behind is 2.3 seconds. Okay, they're on old hard tyres. Beautiful. Their tyres are 12 laps old. Your last lap time was at 1 minute 37.6. Yeah, thanks for reminding me how slow I am. There was no need for that, mate. Oh, we're making mistakes now. We're getting tired. I'm so sorry, team. I'll bring it home. I'll bring it home. I'm bringing P6 home. We're nearly home, baby. We're nearly home. Have we increased the gap? Gasly behind. Okay, so the gap to the car behind is 2.4 seconds. Okay, they're on old hard tyres. Their tyres are 12 laps old. Time last lap was at 137.6. Ooh. The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths of lap. Well done. Thank you very much. It's not over yet. Anything can happen. Come on, two laps. Two laps. Now, team, get P6. P6. And the team were ignoring me when I was talking to them in the garage and on the starting grid. They better respect me after this race. I want to hear final lap. I want to hear final lap. Come on, final lap. Okay, this is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Thank you, I've got this. I'm bringing it home. Come on, stay calm, Jeremy. Stay calm. You've got this. Bring it home. P6. No one believed that you'd do anything and you signed to this team. Because they thought you'd just keep doing stuff like that. And stuff like that. You're struggling. I take it those fireworks are for me, yeah? Carlos Sainz? Nice work, brother. No one believed in me when I signed the contract that I'd be anything for this team. I was always going to finish last. P6, baby. I'm a happy man. Let's go. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Smiling faces on the pit wall then after that superb win here at Sakir. And rightly so, a brilliant effort from the whole team. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit, familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari, do it again.
And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? I have to give it to Goose. They pushed and pushed and found some fantastic performance. It was just a pleasure to watch. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Ferrari take the lead at the top of the table. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time out. Be sure to join us once again as we continue to bring you all the excitement of Formula One. Oh, mate, first off, all the credit goes to the team for getting the fat guy in an F1 car and putting their trust in a uh, sim racer. Uh, man, sixth place. Who would have thought, eh? Who would have thought? I always had the confidence. I don't think the team did. Uh, the fans definitely didn't. Um, I'm sure Gasly was angry because he really wanted to come here. Uh, so I'm sure he would have been frustrated seeing me do well and he's stuck it out for Tory. Man, what a race. Uh, I did really well and I beat my teammate, which is, you know, always a good feeling. And having that little rivalry with your teammate, a bit of fun. It was, it was a good fight with Alfa Tori there. Um, a bit sad to see Norris and Magnussen go out of the race. I'm not looking forward to the next race because in sim racing, I'm horrible at that at that track. And uh, I'll give it my best shot. And uh, hopefully we can get into the points again.